Welcome to Skill Session. In this video, we'll be discussing the proxy design pattern, one of the structural design patterns used in object-oriented programming. The proxy pattern is a design pattern that provides a surrogate of placeholder object for another object uh, to control access to it. The pattern allows us to create a class that can act as an interface to another class, providing additional functionality or security checks before accessing the real object. So you can think of it like a bouncer is standing in front of the door you can, you can get access, but you'll have to, to fulfill some conditions first. So let's say we have a web application that accesses a remote service over the internet. We want to limit the number of requests and ensure that the service is available before sending a request. We can use the proxy pattern to create a proxy object that acts as an intermediary between the web application and the remote service. The proxy object can handle the requests, limit and availability checks before forwarding the request to the real object. Or in simpler terms, if you wanted to say visit a website, uh, you could use a proxy for that, right? A proxy would then be one website that you visit, which will then show you a different website. There could be different use cases for that. So if we take a look at the um, at the conceptual diagram for it here, uh, my apologies for the poor uh, resolution, but. What we have is we have a subject and then we have the real subject and then we have a proxy for it. So they both inherit the, uh, the, the subject up here. So whenever you want access to the real subject, you go through the proxy. So you never get uh, the, real, the real subject or the real object um, returned. You just get access to it. So you have a way to access the properties, the functionality, whatever is public in it can be relayed through that proxy. But it's not uh, something where it's just going to end up returning that object. That wouldn't be a proper proxy. So uh, what you really do and what you can see here in this uh, sample sequence diagram on the right is that whenever a client calls an operation on the proxy, that proxy then calls the real uh, a subject uh, to call that operation on it. And if something is then returned from the real subject, uh, then that's going to be returned by the proxy to the client as well. So that's the idea of it. So the proxy pattern can help provide some additional security, performance, or functionality to a system by using an intermediary object to control access to a real object. This can help reduce coupling and complexity and improve scalability and maintainability of the system. However, the proxy pattern can also introduce some additional latency, complexity, and maintenance overhead and may not be suitable for all problems or applications. We have a code example here written in Java where the idea is that we have um, that we have a real image and we have a proxy image. And then of course we have an image interface. So whenever we want to access the real image, what we have to do is that we have to go through this proxy interface, or sorry, this uh, proxy image, which implements the image interface. So uh, we want to, um, to get the image. So we use the uh, constructor to create an instance of the proxy image. And then we, um, use the uh, display function to say that we want to display something. And then the proxy images display function is going to create a new instance of the real image, but it's up to that instance whether or not it wants to do that. If there is some something wrong, if there's like uh, uh, an authorization gone wrong, or if there's too much traffic uh, going on, then the proxy can stop the traffic before it blocks the real image from working. And one of the benefits of this is if you have a service that's that's going to be accessed by a lot of people. One thing that you might do is provide different addresses to all of the uh, to all of the users, um, and then all of these users can just go to an address each, which is which are all pointing to the same to the same place. But um, if um, but if you need to shut down traffic, then you can just turn off some of these proxies, and then the service will still be available to those who who have access to one of these proxies and then the proxies can take turn and you won't have to, to think about who the actual users are because they just have access to one of many proxies. So that's it for the proxy pattern. Once again, use the comment section if you have any, any questions and I'll make sure to get back to you. And with that out of the way, thanks for now. See you next time.